Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to lighten up your night renderings in D5 Render. So if you have not done so, make this the video you hit the like button, subscribe to this channel for more content like this, also hit the notification bell to get notified once we release new videos. Without wasting your time, we're going to jump right into the main content of this video. As you can see in this our dark gloomy D5 scenery, I'm going to show you guys how to convert this dark scenery to this well lit scenery. So firstly, we're going to start by illuminating the bulb so we're just going to go to these bulbs that are actual materials so we're just going to select i on our keyboard to access the material editor library so we're just going to click on it and we're going to go to this parameter here this tab here and just check this emissive tab so as you can see we already have our light glowing we could adjust the intensity of this uh, emissive quality we could lower it we could increase it so i'm just going to leave it at 100 now so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place some interior light and I'm going to light the interiors. To do that, we first need to understand the principle of light in a D5 render. D5 render works by reflection. So I'm going to show you an example. So for instance, if I click on this add light and I click on point light because I preferably use point light, I'm just going to set, set this point light and I'm just going to place it adjacent or perpendicular to the wall opposite the opening. So before I start placing it how I want to place it, I'm going to edit its parameter. So I'm going to increase this to so about so let's use 100 then I'm going to increase the temperature as well I'm also going to increase this attenuation radius so now we can see how bright and warm the light is so as you can see you see the light already is already popping out of the windows because of the position where I placed so I'm going to be doing the same for other prominent spaces that I'll be showing in this so I'm just going to be holding shift on my keyboard while holding one of these navigation toggles on the light source then I'm just going to drag it and it will copy so I'm going to copy copy this I'm going to copy this one good thing to note and I've said it in some previous videos is when placing light it's always good to set them in a separate level so I've already created a separate layer sorry so I've already created a layer called lighting layer so I'm just going to go over to this tab here click on it and place them under the lighting layer so it will adjust correctly as you can see this lighting layer is currently hidden so I'm just going to hide it to release all the light so I'm going to be doing the same for this upper spaces and I'm just going to be selecting this light and I'm going to click shift to copy it and I'm just going to drag it over here and place it remember adjacent or opposite to the openings or the window openings or glazed openings whatever kind of opening you have so I'm just going to copy some lights to to make here as bright as possible so I'm going to do the same for this space here and I'm just going to make sure it's copied so it's always good to reference back to this view so as you can see the lighting layer is off so i'll just turn it on again and i'm going to update this view so as you can see we have some good interior lighting so now this view is getting better but there is a problem we need exterior and background lights for this night view so how are we going to work on it we are going to use this our bollard light we already have one already set here but i'm going to show you how to set this bollard light firstly you could just find a good bollard light component or you could model it yourself this one was modeled in 3 dx mask so you could actually check and download some of them they are free on the internet so we are just going to bring one of these but this is not enough to light up this place so we are going to go under this add lights tab over here we are going to click on point light so under this point light we are going to try and place it in proximity to the source of this bollard light then we are just going to adjust the position to the center of the bollard light now we have adjusted it to this position we are going to edit the parameters of this light by doing that to do that we are going to increase the intensity first we are going to increase the warmth of the light and as usual we are going to increase the attenuation radius before we conclude on this okay let me reduce the intensity a bit to about 75 we are just going to make sure we change the layer to lighting layer so we'll have control over our daylight and evening views that is also very important so now i've placed this in proximity to this what i'm simply going to do is i'm going to select this bollard light i'm going to select this light source and i'm going to go to, over to this object tab here and i'm just going to right click and group them so now they are grouped i can now play with them around and place them all over this uh, all over this scenery so i'm going to start by placing one here i can click on so i could just start copying them by holding shift and just copying them around i could just place one to support the camera scene here to make sure this place is well littered then i'm just going to drag this place this here So now as you can see we are going to always refer back to our view right. so so far this is looking good but we could add some little extra touches just to make it you know look very good 
So we're just going to click on P to exit this two point perspective restrictive setting. And okay, so we are free to move now. So now we are just going to go and illuminate the headlamp of this car. So firstly, you know, this car is not a D5 car, so we cannot just automatically turn on the light. So we're going, going to illuminate some materials of the car to act mimic a good headlamp. So because I want to access this material in the headlamp, I'm just going to slow down my camera movement speed. So I'll be able to zoom in slowly into the car, the car car parts to get make it illuminate so now i'm just going to select this rim over here and i'm going to check this emissive and i could control its parameters let's just leave it at 60. so now our car headlamp is illuminating we could just add some supporting point lights add supporting point lights uh, we could use spotlights and we'll just click on it so now we've placed this spotlight we're just going to rotate it to mimic the headlamp of a car get throwing out lights to the scene just to make it more realistic so now we have this headlamp we are going to increase the attenuation radius a bit we are going to increase the cone angle we are going to change the angle a bit we are just going to navigate to get a better view of this then we are just going to copy this headlamp and as you can see so we are just going to also look at some other things like as you can see i also put on the turned on the luminous setting of this led lights so if I increase the speed, I could access it. I will just click on I to access the material editor. Then I'll click on it. I can still increase the intensity a bit. Then I could go back to this scenery. Okay, so now I could still touch some effects to that will help us get some more lighting quality of this scenery. I could increase the bloom a bit. And once I, after I increase the bloom, I'll just click on update, update the changes I've made. So finally, I'm just going to click on render this camera image tab over here. Then I'm going to edit the image quality parameters, let's say 2, 5, and I'm just going to click render to render the images. I'm going to save it where I want to save, and I'm going to click save. Alright, so as you can see, the result is very clear. You can see how well illuminated our scenery is. So if this video was helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this. It's not hard. Just subscribe. Click subscribe. And also hit the notification bell to get notified once you release new videos. Thank you very much and have a nice day.